and beat her. <laughs> it's kind of like different and fun. Like I can't surpass one level on my Welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to do our top three apples of us. We're going to run through our three favorites. It's like fun. I always like when I find a new like lifestyle app or something that's kind of like different and fun. And so I thought that would be something fun we should do today. Yeah. So I'll like Yeah. I'll just come back to where we both have iPhones. Oh yeah, so yeah. she's got the 8, I have the 7. My mm -hmm. first app is Venmo. Oh, because <laughs> I have been using Venmo so much lately. Um, Why have you been using Venmo so much lately? Tell us about your spending. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just makes it like so much more like convenient. Like mm -hmm. um, yesterday, I went out to the mall with a couple friends and like we went through the drive through and instead of us having three different orders, one of one of us just like ordered for everybody and we just Venmo for the money. So it's just it's so much easier. Or when we go out, I'll just Venmo Elena like my yeah. part of the bill. Yeah. So now basically I always have money that I need to like what's it called? Like transfer to banks? Yeah, transfer. I have so much that I'll just forget. So So I love the Nike Run app because you can track your running without like extra equipment or things. So the cool thing about the Nike Plus um, Run app, it's a long name, I just call it Nike app basically, mm -hmm. is you can um, use your external music from like your library that you have or they, they, it connects here automatically like from iTunes if you have an iPhone and then it basically will give you at the end of your run It'll give you like the outline in the map of where you run and it has it's like color coded by how fast you're running. So like let's say you took a little couple more minutes than usual to run a mile, it'll like show up as um, as red. But if you like ran like extra fast or something, you show up as green. And it's just really easy to use. I like how every mile it tells you how long it's been and you can use miles or kilometers. So I use kilometers. Uh, well, sometimes I use miles because um, if I'm like running. Um, what else is cool about the app? I just, I, I like it. It's like something that I look forward to seeing like how much I run. And yeah. That's pretty much it. It's just, and it's free. So, all these apps are free. Yeah. yeah. They're all free. They're all free. Yeah. We pay for apps. I've got time for that. My next app is the Southwest, like, airline app. Um, I actually have only used it like twice. Mm -hmm. um, and it's ridiculous because I fly all the time. If I'm like going home, I either fly or I take the train. So there's like no excuse as to why I haven't used it yet. But basically it's where you can download your boarding pass and then when you get to TSA, you um, you give them your phone and they scan the QR code and all that. And then it's like, boom, you're done. You don't have to worry about keeping up with like the paper boarding pass or anything like that. Could you do that on... Um a Google Wallet, I mean Apple Wallet. I have no idea. I don't use Apple I Wallet. Should. I actually really like Apple Wallet. Yeah. So this is how I've gotten Typorama. So like I, I have my favorite quote right here. With Typorama you have all your pictures and you can pick one and add like a quote. Or <laughs> You, you put whatever format you want, so I'm just gonna put original size and then and then you can add all kinds of like really cool there you go. This is the Im image I chose and then you can pick like really cool fonts. So let's say I want to pick that one and I'm gonna write there it is. So there's our Ellen mom. So you can customize whatever picture and I love to use them for like a birthday shout out or if I need a new, um, 
you know, like I want a new screensaver or something like that. And it's just something cute. You can get the paid premium to like take away the watermark. They, but they have a lot of free fonts that I love and it's like a lot of cool different styles. So I definitely recommend it. Editing pictures mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. Cool. My last app is called Two Dots and it's a game. I didn't know about it. <laughs> she just told me. Cause I'm, I'm not one of those people, I'm not one of those people that have a, a lot of games on my phone. So Two Dots is a game and it's basically like connect, connect the dots mm -hmm. and every, every week or every like three or four days they have like a new challenge and every challenge has like six or seven levels. And those are like the only part of two dots I actually play because like mm -hmm. I can't surpass one level on like the normal game. Like, I'm on uh, level 388, but I can't get past it. What? I've had this game on my phone since I got my first iPhone, which was like 22. Okay, so that's great. Anyway, so try and beat her. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't house. gotten, I haven't gotten past 380. Oh, I see, they're like so. cities. So that's like, yeah. that's yeah. China, and then here, I mean, that's Japan, and then here you have Moscow. That's cute. Yeah. Oh, that's Taipei. That's cute. Oh, that's Russia. Oh, that's so cute. It has like different yeah. stuff. Yeah. All right, so I have my last app. Just as my phone tells me I have 20% battery. Um, my, oh, my last app is really close to tell you. <laughs> okay, my last app is called Google Keeps, and I think everybody should have it. Google Keeps is Google's version of Notes, and I'm a huge Notes person. Like on my iPhone, I always have Notes. Whenever I think of something, whenever we think of video ideas or thumbnail ideas, or like when I'm like, I'm a list kind of person. I love checking things off a list. So I love Google Keeps. And Google Keeps is essentially. It sounds like I'm so sponsored right now. <laughs> like, doesn't it? I feel like hashtag, hashtag not sponsored. Not sponsored <laughs> like, I wish. Hook me up, Google. Now, um, it's basically an app just like Notes, except you can use your Gmail account, and so it can connect also to your computer. And that's what I love about it because the other day I was in class, and normally when I do Notes, I just always do it through the phone. So it just. You know, like sometimes if I only have my computer and I'm in class, I obviously can't take out my phone and write down what I'm thinking. But you can do it through just your regular Google account. And you can send pictures to add to your notes. So as you can see here, I have a bunch of lists. And then I can go to it and I can, um, you know, click it if I'm done with it. And I can move these places around. You can color code each note in different colors and what I love about this that you don't have on the notes screen like on the iPhone uh, notes app is that here you can clip all your notes like a billboard and it'll actually show the whole note so that you can see like everything you have and because you can color code it you can separate it you can add images you can there's a handwriting tool I just adore it yeah totally and actually I have a list here of our monthly favorites <laughs> which is a video that we shot okay. today my three apps were Google Keeps, Typerama and the Nike Plus Run and then mine were Venmo, Southwest and Two Dots yay I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's kind of like something that might seem kind of random, but I think it's like a fun video and yeah. yeah. Cool. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side. Peace. So thank you guys for watching this video and I just said your part, but what I meant to say was I hope you <laughs> I freaking hear I'm tired. I'm delusional. I'm gone. Invisibility cloak.